The tank itself was unusual in that it was vertical and looked like an old boiler. Inside the tank, the subject wore a heavy glass bubble and you would have thought the whole contraption uncomfortable to say the least. It was however effective. Of the 23 students tested, only two found the experience unpleasant. Some even called it exhilarating. A number of students hallucinated. Dr. Jessup found the encephalographic evidence especially interesting. And one Saturday afternoon in April 1967, he decided to try the experience for himself. occupied by creative games until now. But we have all inclusive plans for you. We had thought, for instance, of sending you to the middle of the desert, to a violent sea, or of having the closeness of the others be air to you, pressing you back into a startled dream as sea breezes greet a child's face. But the past is already here, and you are nursing some private project. The worst is not yet over, but I know you will be happy here because of the logic of your situation, which is something no climate can outsmart. Human, the first and the original truly human form. Um, 
Tiny perhaps were behind, completely furred. Jimp-like, but erect, no knuckle walking, shorter arms, he's moving along so gracefully. There's um, two, three of them. Uh, high people, tiny little furred humanoid creatures, got a chunk of lava in their hands there. Um, stalking or hunting something. For Christ's sake. I'm becoming one of them. I'm no longer observing. I'm one of them. Uh, I'm killing I'm a goat. I'm killing. I'm eating. I'm eating the blood. I'm flushing the goat. Smear blood for a karyotype, also uh, pictures for the Goodman and Sarah's lab, pictures of my neck. Now, before I reconstitute. Before he what? Before he reconstitutes. Well, then take his damn blood and maybe let me have a look at him. Yeah. 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 Yeah.